Well, you need a little bit of courage to encounter this path, to take this path. Because you will face your own shadows. And by really diving into that, you will find the true meaning of it. Welcome to the ceremony. Feeling that there are a bit anxious people. Yeah, it's okay, it's very understandable. Come here. Hey, oh, yes. welcome. My experience with ayahuasca is zero. I didn't fancy going all the way to South America. For but then I heard that, uh, no, it's, it's in Poland, you know. It's in average, a journey lasts four to six to eight hours. We won't be drinking ayahuasca. We never do as guides. My name is Ingeborg. Through internet, I read an article that Lars wrote, and I thought, I want to try that. Well, ayahuasca for us is a means. When you walked a long path already and tried all different things to solve a inner problem that they weren't able to solve yet. Five years ago, I, I took my first ayahuasca, and since then, my life is changing every, every way it's possible. <laughs> it's wonderful. Hi, I'm uh, Bjorn. Yeah, I miss my father a lot. And I think I've been running away from that pain for, uh, for a very long time. So I hope with the uh, ayahuasca ceremony, and I'll ask for some, some guidance with that. I've, I've known for a long time that I'm, uh, to say it softly, not very kind to myself. And that's why I'm here. Also very much looking into who am I and like, what kind of work do I want to do. We, we can find your negative beliefs. We can find an entrance to the pain. When you are in ayahuasca, your, your uh, feeling of time will disappear. It can feel like you've experienced things that maybe normally you would experience in a week. Maybe you, you have the feeling you were away for only an hour. You can still not describe it. It's like they say in the Bhagat, uh, Bhagavad Gita, it's like a thousand suns. It's like you're meeting your maker. I've tried to limit my expectations. We just felt like it was really an extra dimension to have live music because it's more in the action, interaction with, uh, with the participants. And you get feedback uh, from how you play, you are in a real meditative kind of state. In the process of the Sacred Voyage, it's not just the ayahuasca. We have all kinds of workshops to get you ready. They do all the introduction workshops so that you open yourself up, that you feel connected with the group and with the, the leaders. Time to develop and reconnect with something inside that used to be there but has kind of disappeared over time. Mm. By the end of it, hopefully, I walk away a, kind of a more full person. That was the, the most frightening part for me because I'm not too used to actually sharing and telling people about the deeper aspects of myself, but to see other people doing that, it's all blown away. After the sharing, we had a hard dance workshop. What I need from you is that you encourage me, that I'm okay with what I am and with how I dance or how I move or just how I am. And that's something that we're gonna give to each other in the next dance. High dancing is a form where you don't talk, but where you are in touch with whatever is inside and you express it. It's one of the incredible ways to, to let the body talk. guided around 6,000 people. 
We have a really good and skilled team, about 45 guides who we train. You get a, a year training and they're all completely different. They all have different backgrounds. We have psychologists, we have physicians, we have all kinds of people, uh, but they have one thing in common and that's they love working with people. They all have the same spirit. Yeah, we just did uh, the armoring and uh, I've had the armorings before. And this time was like completely different. I felt every sensation in my body, but at the same time, I felt connected with everybody else. So some people were crying, some people were laughing. Of course, this is a completely natural situation and a natural phenomenon. You can use certain techniques to release the pain, the emotions that are stuck, the memories that are stuck. I felt like before I entered, I was like a bottle with dirty water inside. And then the dirty water was um, was empty, and then it was renewed with fresh water. You keep the pressure. Uh... Well, yeah, it's an amazing experience. I never felt anything like this before, and then I have been stuck for a long time. So I invite you to close your eyes, softly caressing you, because you can't always count on others to give you this. First of all, you have to be able to give it to yourself. You have to start learning to love yourself. We will pour the first glass of ayahuasca for you and we will bring it to you and then we ask you not to drink it yet because we're going to drink the first glass as a ritual, as a group together. And before you drink it, I will guide you through a meditation. Our main goal is to connect you with your essence because this life is short. You are wise to use it right and to, to bring in your qualities in this life. You are able to face your own fears, your own anxieties, your own uh, layers of hate or disgust you have stored inside. When you face that and you process it, you, you get healed. But every week we get stories of people with amazing transformations. We are going to start with the root chakra. It's about your roots. It's about your existence. You can raise your glass then to the area of your heart, the middle of your chest. And she will give you exactly what you need at this time in your life. Then you can bring your hand to the uh, position of your belly. And after you've done that, you can drink the ayahuasca in your own pace. And I wish you all a really bon voyage. During my whole life I've been trying to find my way to a place that I call home. And because of ayahuasca now I can see that 
the home I can find inside myself. For me it was a um, lifetime experience I wouldn't want to miss. I could really feel how my father used to feel and I could also see that I had have that pain as well, but I I didn't want to see it. Unbelievable. Got all the answers, which were right there. Sometimes it takes a, an experience like this to really drive these points back home. A lot of uh, old pain I got rid of. And I feel relieved and I feel room. I can breathe more or deeper in. I don't know yet what it will mean for me, but at this moment I'm very happy with it. <laughs> Just feel so damn grateful. Amazing guides that came by and, and held space for me. Felt like I missed my mother or missed my father, and I could just ask people and the guides to, to come sit with me. And they came and they were there. And you, you, you don't even think about them yet, and they're already there. And they really gave me what it feels to be safe, be seen. And it's incredibly loving. Yeah, I'm very grateful to them. They, they did an amazing job. It's nice, you do it, we do this with a group and uh, people inspire each other. And, and sometimes you are touched by the stories of other people. I feel great. Yeah. But not up there, I'm here. It's yeah. good, good to be here. I used to be up there trying to escape. Now I'm here. Since the ceremony has been fantastic, uh, because I've, I don't think I've been stressed in any way, shape or form since then at all. Any time I notice uh, any symptoms of stress coming on, I immediately process them and deal with them in a different way than I actually did beforehand. I'm in contact with that feminine soft side of myself again. I appreciate those, well, I wouldn't say little things, we would call them the little things, but those are the big things. I'm, I'm not so afraid anymore. I, I feel afraid, well, I will still go. It won't stop me anymore. Ayahuasca opened my mind and I feel why I can change my behavior on a positive way. So it, 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 it is the biggest gift I ever had that I may join the ayahuasca ceremony, the journey I have made to really embrace my happiness and to see all the amazing things that I have in my life. That was like the gift Ayahuasca gave me. And Ayahuasca helps me to, to open up quicker and deeper than with other kind of mental support. And instead of with real drugs, avoiding life, this is really helping me to be in life and not trying to be in some beautiful space, but really making the best of my life here in this world. There's a growing group of people that's ready for this experience. And that group is growing and growing, but I'm not sure if the whole world is ready yet. I don't think so. We live in a world, in a phony world, a world where you have to behave in a certain way. And ayahuasca is here to, to connect you to what's real, to your raw emotion, to your raw being. You have to be humble, open, you have to be curious to, to really get to know yourself. So what we do is we really look into each other's eyes, knowing that his eyes are a mirror for me. Like all his darkness, his brightness, his lightness, his pains, his sorrow, his beauty, everything we see in the other, you see actually also in yourself. That's what ayahuasca is helping me as well, to let go of thinking and trying to control everything and being okay and relaxed with not knowing and just accepting that. I think no one gives so good, safe surrounding with people guiding. So I'm grateful also that I have been to the sacred voyage.
I wish that everybody can see how it really is to reconnect with each other from heart to heart. I really feel we are all the same, more and more, and that's beautiful.